All right, so check it out. It's Trevor James. I just got into Guangzhou, China, the land of dim sum and barbecue pork. I came here to eat, and today we're going for a full day of food range and feasting. Let's go check it out. If you love dim sum and the elegance of finely cooked Cantonese cuisine, coming to Guangzhou to eat will fill you with joy through each bite. There's enough food here for a lifetime, and in one day, you can do as the locals do and feast on dim sum and sip tea and try a ton of delicious street food specialties. Make sure to watch until the end, because you won't believe the insanity of the seafood scene here in Guangdong. First up, just like the locals, you can make your way to a local Changfen breakfast joint and eat some delicious Changfen rice noodle rolls. Let's eat. So just right up here, there's a famous Changfen place, rice noodle roll place. This is what you've got to have for breakfast in Guangzhou. Let's go have a taste. Ni hao. Oh. Changfen. We're gonna sit down and have a bite of this beauty. Changfen is the first street food you need to eat here in Guangzhou or Hong Kong. Rice flour water is poured onto a metal tray and steamed. Then, your choice or mixture of pork, shrimp, egg, cockles, or beef is mixed into a bowl and put onto that beautiful steamed rice flour. Just watch this magic. After it's steamed a little longer, it's pushed into a little blob of goodness, garnished with light soy sauce and fried radish. There's nothing like it. Oh, beautiful. Okay, this is a monster changfen. Get a shot of this beauty. This is a true beauty changfen. Just a regular rice noodle roll in Guangzhou. It's just like, Rice flour steamed, it's all like, it's like sloppy and elegant. The best of both worlds. Oh, it's full of, oh, look at that. It's full of little shrimp, egg, and beef. Oh, and this rice noodle is just gonna be so good. I just gotta, I just gotta get a good first bite here. Mmm, mmm, there's slight, fragrance from the light soy sauce is really smooth and the rice noodle is so silky and it just takes on that nice slight fragrance from the light soy sauce and it's just like sloppy goodness here after eating that nice changfen we began searching for street snacks to try before our huge pre-lunch of cantonese style street food barbecue pork this is one of the true joys of food ranging you can find delicious snacks all along the way Oh, look at these. What we stumbled into was one of the highlights of breakfast street food in China. Here, at little Baozi shops, and in particular in Guangdong, you can find a ton of different breakfast street food specialties meant to be eaten on the go. You can find classic street foods like tea boiled egg flavored with star anise and soy, manto plain white steam buns, freshly made Baozi stuffed pork or vegetable steam buns, steamed shao mai sticky rice dumplings, and then some of the kings of street food dim sum, the zongzi and no mai gai. Steamed sticky rice stuffed with chicken, mushrooms, and sometimes sausage, scallions, and dried shrimp, all wrapped up in a beautiful lotus leaf. But one thing I can never get enough of is one of the highlights of Cantonese dim sum and street food, the cha shao bao, aka barbecue pork bun. Oh, what a beautiful second breakfast we can have here. Oh, look at these. Oh, this is good. This is what I came to Guangdong for. Cha Shao Bao. Barbecue pork bun. Oh, huge. Look at those monsters. Thank you. 
Oh, look at that. That is a monster bow to cha shao bow. We're gonna try it. Okay, try it out. Mmm. Wow. Oh. Oh, yeah. Look at that. The barbecue pork they put in there is so juicy. And the barbecue flavor is actually quite sweet. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's like a sweet barbecue sauce in the ultimate fluffy bun. That is the perfect second breakfast of the day. Mm. After that gorgeous barbecue pork bun, we made our way in search of our first lunch, the world famous Cantonese cha shao barbecue pork and roast goose. Cha shao, oh look at this. Ni hao. Chili yo cha shao ma. Wow, can chi lai hen bang. Look at this. Oh. Cha shao and roast goose in Guangdong. Guangzhou, this is gonna be incredible. Oh, yeah. Look at how he chops it in the back there. Si shi ma, hao. Si shi si. Hao. This just brings joy to you. Tai hao la, xie xie. I just can't get enough of watching him cut all of this barbecue pork. This is the pinnacle of lunch street food in Guangdong. Found all throughout street corners in Guangdong and Hong Kong, Xiaomei roast meat establishments like these specialize in a variety of meats, with the famous cha shao and roast goose taking the crown. The barbecue pork is made with a mixture of honey, five spice powder, dark soy sauce, and hoisin sauce. And the roast goose is served with a sweet plum sauce. Just watching them chop the barbecue pork and roast goose will get your mouth watering. You can order these dishes just like the locals over rice and sit down for a nice lunch on the street. This is worth the flight alone. This is such a, such a busy spot. Oh, and I got the, the braised, I got the roast goose here and barbecue pork over rice with veg. Oh, we're just gonna add a little plum sauce onto that goose. Oh yeah, this is, oh, this is gonna be good. And now I've got this braised sauce that you put over top of the goose. Oh yeah, that's a little bit messy, but oh, that's gonna be flavor packed. Let's get a nice big chunk with a nice big piece of fatty skin. Oh, let's try it out. Mm. Oh yeah, that is pure magic. It's really good. When you take your first bite, the goose is so juicy and it just has this slight aromatic sweetness to it. But the best part is the plum sauce for sure. Oh, look at all the fat bubbling out of the skin. That is where it gets the flavor, see that? See the fat bubbling out of the skin there? Oh, that's where it gets the flavor. And then when you bite into the meat, it just packs even more juice. Covered in a plum sauce, you will fall in love on your first bite. Now we've got to try some of this cha shao barbecue pork. Mmm. Very good. Very good. Very good. Really nice. Can you can you Oh, this is very good. Very Very good. Yeah, very good. This is this is cha shao. Wow. Oh, my dream. Look at that. This is this is special. 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 Oh, that's the secret. All the sauce there. Thank you. Add a little more. Oh, yeah. That is what it's all about right here. I could just see coming here every day, having some cha shao over rice. That's a full meal and so, so fulfilling and satisfying when you eat this. After that incredible roast goose and barbecue pork, we made our way to our second lunch, the thing you must try when you're in Guangdong or Hong Kong, dim sum. Here we go, dim do duck. Dim sum is some of the best of the best when it comes to Chinese food. 
It's such a world of its own, you could spend your whole life learning and tasting different dim sum. And since we were quite full, we only ordered the must-try classic dim sum dishes of Guangdong and Hong Kong, starting with the two kings of dim sum, the Ha Gao transparent shrimp dumpling packed with shrimp, pork fat, sesame oil, and light seasonings, along with the Shao Mai, the ground pork and chopped shrimp dumpling, also filled with mushrooms, onions, and ginger. These two dim sum kings go great with the delicious feng jua, a fried, steamed, and stewed puffy chicken feet dish flavored with black fermented beans, bean paste, and sugar. Adding a steamer of cha shao bao, the same one I sampled on the street in the morning, and the dim do duck special rice roll with a crispy inner fried rice cake and prawns dipped into a peanut sauce. This is like a dream world, it's so good. This is just a classic dim sum lunch here in Guangzhou. Oh, there's so many specialties here. I think I'm gonna have to go right away for the Shao Mai pork and shrimp dumplings with crab roe on top. Oh yeah. Mm. Oh. That is one of the kings of dim sum. So juicy. The pork and the shrimp are, the shrimp, the shrimp is springy. Oh, and the crab roe on top just had a perfect hint of flavor. Oh, that's good. There's also, there's chicken feet here and these are actually growing on me. I've been in China three years now and when they're done right, the skin, there's something so satisfying about taking the skin off with your teeth. Oh, chicken feet for life. <laughs> Mmm. 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 A little sweet. There's a touch of spice. And what the locals do is you, you bite, like, I guess the knuckle, and then suck the skin off, and then spit the knuckle out on the plate, and you're just left with tiny little bones. After feasting on this delicious dim sum and taking a little walk around to digest, we made our way to Guangzhou's largest wholesale seafood market. The amount of selection here will blow you away. So we're just coming up to a seafood market. This is on the Pearl River in Guangzhou. This is the biggest wholesale seafood market in Guangzhou. And we're gonna choose some seafood and have a big meal. Oh, wow. Look at all this seafood. This is one. Now I'm going Oh. oh, this looks good. Oh. oh, look at that, gooey duck. This probably comes from Canada. Janadarama. <laughs> Janadara. What a gushang. Oh, look at those big mantis shrimp. Oh, nice mantis shrimp. Oh, those are, oh, those are huge. Oh, hen piao liang. Hen piao liang de. Oh, look at that. Look at that. That's huge. This is how much? 180 This is how much? 2,000. 2,000. Is it Oh. We'll buy one. Are they overpriced? Way Okay. This is like a huge eel here. And Piao Liang. Ah, Buyong Buyong. This is how much? This is 100,000. It's very expensive. This is very expensive. This is very expensive. Canada. After possibly slightly overpaying, we found some sandworms that looked inviting. So we grabbed a bag and carried all the seafood up to the top floor of the restaurant upstairs and passed the seafood to the chefs, who cook the outside bought seafood and charge by the kilo. We got a nice seafood feast coming up. Hi, haola. We bought a lot. Fresh red crab, scallops with garlic and rice noodles, deep fried eel with a sweet glaze, gooey duck fried in fresh bell peppers and red chilies, salt and pepper mantis shrimp, and sandworms cooked just like onion rings, all cooked in the light and elegant Cantonese style. I didn't think it was gonna be this much. I'm gonna try and finish it all. We have a lot here today. Let's just dig it. Oh, look at that. That's a lot of meat. 
and I got it original flavor. So they just give you a nice garlic dip. Oh yeah, garlic and oil. Mmm. Mmm. Tender crab meat with a this garlic dip is actually a little salty. Everything was perfectly cooked, with the eel surprisingly being the most tender and delicious thing we tasted, and the sandworms tasting almost exactly like onion rings. So when you come to Guangzhou, make sure to have a seafood feast. So as you see, we couldn't finish all of that seafood. We ordered a little too much. Gotta bring it home and have a bit later. What an amazing day here in Guangzhou. So much super delicious food. This is just the tip. There's a lot more, so we're gonna try and get a lot more videos for you guys. If you enjoy this, please leave a thumbs up, click that subscribe button, and leave a comment for us down below. Would love to know what you thought about this video. I'm gonna go for a little walk and burn off that intense seafood feast. Thanks, guys.